This is my wedding day. I actually cried when I looked at the picture because it reminded me of a time when I was very happy and hopeful about the future and thinking that this was going to be my husband forever. Leave it to Beaver. Like millions of other baby boomers, Wendy grew up in the era of Leave it to Beaver. I'll go with you, dear. But real life ended up more like Kramer versus Kramer. Ted, I'm leaving you. By 1979, when that film came out, the divorce rate had hit its all-time high. It's funny, my, my wife at the time used to say I was happy being miserable. I thought I was happy. On the outside, maybe I wasn't. Now, 35% of all baby boomers have been divorced, and that generation makes up the majority of all divorced people in America. So what happened? Life happened. There's no question that a lot of women woke up during the women's movement and said, who needs this? Nora Ephron has written extensively about divorce, most notably her own. She's just written a new book about her life and edits a blog on the Huffington Post all about the D word that once dared not speak its name. When I was growing up, the word divorced was practically whispered. You know, I, I remember I had a friend who's, whose mother was Sure good to be back, Dad. The traditional wife and mother image of June Cleaver went out with black and white TV. And during the sexual revolution, women who said, I do, claimed their right to say, I'd rather not. I was engaged at 20 and married at 21, and I had my two children very soon after that. Uh, but our generation was the first, at least women, that were college grads and um, career options were open to us that the generation previous to us did, didn't. I guess the question is, did baby boomers have time for marriage? I think marriage is much harder than it looks. And that might be why the children and grandchildren of baby boomers are waiting longer to marry, about four years longer. Since 1979, the average age of grooms has risen from 24 to 28, brides from 22 to 26. Nobody wants to inherit what turned out to be a troubling trait of an older generation. Nobody gets married and, and wants it to fail. And, and any way you look at it, a divorce is a loss of a, of a dream. Richard Schlesinger, CBS News, New York.